public housing residents who refuse to work, volunteer, or go to school will not face eviction in Chattanooga. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rowe. Today, the Chattanooga Housing Authority reversed their policy because it did not follow federal rules. Kelsey Bagwell explains. Kelsey. Josh, Latricia, according to federal law, it's unlawful to evict someone from public housing because they didn't follow the rules. So instead of a threat to take residents out, the Chattanooga Housing Authority is changing their rule to an incentive to move into a nicer home. I think it would mean a lot for my family. Upward Mobility. It's a program outlined by the Housing Authority, urging residents to work, volunteer, or attend school at least 30 hours a week. The difference between living here and living here is how hard you're willing to work through the Housing Authority's Upward Mobility program. People living here who are eligible to work but don't could run the risk of being moved here. Meanwhile, people living in some of the older complexes who are working hard to improve their finances could be rewarded by moving to one of the newer complexes. Before today, residents who lived in the three newest locations and did not comply with the upward mobility program rules could be evicted. Today, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposes no. Thank you. The board voted to reverse that decision. Now, all residents are protected from eviction if they choose not to work or go to school, but in its place, an incentive to live in one of these. People want to live there. What can we do to help people who want to live there have motivation to move forward self sufficiency? Greenwood Terrace, Fairmount, and Maple Hills house the upward mobility success stories. Only two of the residents living in the new complexes are not complying with those regulations. If they continue to break the rules, they'll be reassigned to an older complex to make room for residents who are working to improve their finances. They can be offered a unit in any of our public housing sites where we have vacancies at the time of non-compliance. So we've got College Hill Courts, East Lake Courts, and the list goes on. As for Jamal Carruthers, he doesn't live in government housing, but his family does. He thinks the program is an excellent opportunity for his family members who do work to support themselves. If you're a hard-working citizen, it's your chance to move up if you qualify. So take advantage. The Housing Authority gives a 90-day window to residents who lose their job to find another. Josh. Kelsey, thank you. A tenant living in an upward mobility complex who is not complying and refuses to accept the move can be evicted from public housing altogether. The Housing Authority says that all open lease spots are now filled. The CHA says it has leased out 3,593 vouchers. They say they will continue to give out 30 vouchers every month, drawing from their waiting list. They pulled 370 replacement vouchers to help people displaced by the Harriet Tubman Apartments in 2020.